Have no fear, the parts cannon is here. We are not going to talk about how much money I have spent on this experimental engine. What we are going to talk about is that we got three rods to talk about today. We've got two pistons to talk about. No, three pistons to talk about. And a little bit of math going on here. This, without question, is a Ducar. One of the nice things about dealing with Ducars is that Ducars love to Easter egg their engines. So, somewhere hidden, it will say Ducar, and then it will say what it really actually is. In this case, a 170F. So, if we look up a 170F, it comes up as a 212cc, which is a 70 millimeter piston with a 55 millimeter throw. If you run the math, that's 212 cc's. That's exactly what this engine is. So, the other problem is, it's a Ducar. As a Ducar, the bottom of the connecting rod is a standard size Honda connecting rod. But on the top, Ducar made it smaller and proprietary. So a Ducar piston is proprietary to a Ducar rod. There is nothing else, basically, that fits it. That means that NR Racing, when they started working on these engines, came up with the idea of just throw that out, throw that out, and you get a ARC Racing 6271, which this is a clone of that from Amazon. I'll post links for everything that I use down below in case anybody is interested. And what you do is you pair up this Honda rod with a flat top 20 over Predator piston in order to make it so that it should be pretty close to flat top at zero deck. My apologies. This is a standard height. And this is a standard Predator 212, and it's actually half a millimeter taller on the deck than that flat top. So in theory, because they were out of stock on the piston that I actually needed, we should end up being able to throw that or that in and end up about 1.5 below deck, in theory. Right now, we've got our third option in there. In between when NR Racing was working on this years ago, I'm betting that this must have been created. This is ARC's 6773 Ducar 3.308 212cc connecting rod that is in this right now. And as you can see, it comes out even higher than it does stock. It comes out with a clearance of 0.25 millimeter to being totally flat deck. That's pretty cool. All honesty, that's probably what I'm going to run, and I will make sure to post a link for it down below in case you're interested. Round two. Chinesium Amazon flat top piston with stock height for a Predator 212. Chinesium connecting rod, 20 over Honda clone rod. It looks pretty good. But then we put a flat edge on it. And then we started scrolling through. This is what we were at. This is what we ended up at. Now... These mic out at a 0 0.550 compression. NR Racing sells a higher compression flat top that is two bigger than this, which means that I bet that brings it to 0 0.081 and would be just about as good as you're ever going to get it on this engine. So I will be ordering NR Racing's flat top when they come back in stock, the oversized flat top. Amazon only sells the standard size, which is what's in here right now. 
The other thing that I've noticed is that this Amazon piston, it feels feather light. I'm going to take this, the Ducar, and the Predator 212 piston, and we're going to take it and put it on a scale and see what they weigh out. And then I'm going to swap this for the Junkyard Predator 212 pulled piston, and we're going to see where we end up here. I think this is going to actually end up over deck, so we'll see. Someone woke up from his nap and definitely has some uh, bedhead hair. But we did get a chance to go and check out these pistons. Now, I did all of them with their rings, and I was actually really surprised at what I found. So this is the Amazon Predator Chinesium clone, and this comes out as 5.5 ounces. Now, I know I should really be doing this with grams and stuff, but... Unfortunately, my one that does grams got stolen for the reason why everybody usually wants grams. This is the Predator stock piston, and it comes out as 5.6 ounces. This is the Dew Car, and it comes out as 5.9 ounces. I was totally surprised to see that. So that means that if you convert over to this or you convert over to this, you're saving a solid four to three ounces worth of weight. The other thing is, is this one and this one, if you were to flat top this, mill it down a little bit, you'd be about the same exact weight. But what I noticed while I was playing with this Chinesium one from Amazon is that there is only giant drains. There's no holes in the oil area. So it uses a giant drain there, giant drain there, and you get the idea. Whereas if we take a look at this Predator piston... You can see the holes. And if we take a look at the Ducar, we can see all those holes. So that's kind of interesting. I wonder why the Amazon piston is like that. Is that a normal thing? Or where did that come from? Here we go. We've got the stock Predator 212 piston on the 20 over connecting rod so we're going to rotate this thing now yes i know without the side cover on there is a deflection in this direction we'll stick the side cover on before we run the measurements but i want to see if it is obvious or not if this is going to crest out that feels pretty much at zero now there's definitely a lip there, but that's because of the deflection of this. So let's grab that side cover and we'll throw a straight edge on it. Well, comment section, I want you to have at on this final thing because this is really interesting to me. This outer edge is so flush that with a straight edge across here, all it is is off by 0 0.006 millimeter. So that is a 20 over Honda connecting rod to a Predator 212 takeoff piston. Now it is dished in with a slight raise in the center versus the Ducar piston with the Ducar ARC rod was 0 0.203 in the hole. But the Chinesium off of Amazon with the Chinesium rod off of Amazon, which together cost as much as this one rod off of NR Racing, those ended up being 0.381 in the hole. 
I'm really kind of broken up on what the better combo is here because, like, you know, the Chinesium flat top with the Chinesium rod off of Amazon is the same price as that one item, but you're going to have a lighter rotational mass than you do if you run the Ducar piston. But at the same time, I'm all about the freebies. And so if you've got a freebie piston and a Chinesium connecting rod at 20 over off of Amazon, that is like really close to zero and only costs you $65 shipped directly to your door for the connecting rod. I don't know what we should actually run now. I'm totally like, I, I'm, I'm mystified. I don't think anybody has ever actually built out the flat top Ducar piston with the ARC Ducar rod. I've Googled it. I can't seem to find anybody. In fact, I don't even know, like, what this originally was designed for. So, I think that we might actually build two Stage 1 style engines. I've got two stock heads. I've got two stock cams. I've got two stock blocks, two stock carburetors, two stock just about everything. Um, it really would not cost me more than $35 to buy another one of these Chinesium flywheels. And we could literally build out two of these engines exactly the same with 22-pound valve springs and spin the snot out of them and see what it comes out of them. Um, I'm thinking one of them should be Chinesium rod with the... Predator 212 pull-off piston. And then I'm thinking the other one should be the ARC rod with the actual Ducar flat top. And go for it. I mean, in theory, the lighter one should win if they're exactly the same. I don't know. What do you guys think? Put your two cents down below. What combo out of this would you run? Or would you do something entirely different? You know, put your two cents. I really appreciate it. So, this has been our investigation on connecting rods for the Duramax 208-212cc. Not quite sure how to address this just yet. But anyways, thank you very much for watching and I hope this helps future builds.